All right, I just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started, come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. Not wasting it here. Do you know what a true combo is, Tarnished? Let me first explain a couple of things to you in order to answer that question. In typical FromSoft Souls-like games, your weapons have two types of attacks. Your weak attack, and your strong attack. Weak attacks in older Souls games had a property where you could land two weak attacks in a row to player-type enemies without giving them the chance to roll away in between them. This is called a combo. These were constant across Souls games, while other combos, like strong attack combos, were not always possible and were pretty much dependent on the weapon. There were also other special combos with different combinations that were unique for each weapon. What is that? What the f*** is that? These type, non-typical combos were called true combos. Jumping back to Elden Ring, we find that the R1-2 hit combos of all weapons were removed and you can only strike once before the enemy can roll away. There are also some special true combos in Elden Ring too, quite a few actually, but there is one specific true combo that is absolutely devastating with the correct build. This would be the R2 into R2 true combo from the Raptor Talons. But why is this combo so strong? Let's take a look at what I consider to be currently the best weapon in Elden Ring, the Raptor Talons. But before we get into today's class, the secret weapon from our last video was the Partisan. So congratulations to all of you who answered correctly. Stick to the end of the video to play another game of Secret Weapon. In Elden Ring, there are unique weapon types that possess distinct properties compared to other weapons. Typically, when equipping a weapon, you have the option to equip it in either your left or right hand and use the corresponding buttons L1 or R1 to attack. If you equip two weapons of the same type, one in each hand, pressing the L1 button will unleash a simultaneous attack with both weapons, known as power stancing. To execute this technique, you must possess two weapons of the same type. This ability can be applied to any weapon type, unlocking a new moveset that inflicts significantly more damage than regular R1 or R2 attacks. However, when it comes to the aforementioned special weapon types, the rules deviate slightly. Instead of power stancing, if you choose to wield a regular weapon with both hands, you will unlock a distinct two-handed moveset. Yet, in the case of fists or claws, rather than employing a traditional two-handed grip, your character will summon an additional fist or claw out of their ass and power stance them instead. Fists and claws lack a dedicated two-handed moveset, which actually provides an advantage. Why is this the case, you ask? Let me illustrate with an example. If you attempt to apply the Blood Flame Blade buff to both of your weapons, you will encounter a dilemma. The buff will be forcibly removed from one weapon when you try to use your seal to apply it to the other. <laughs> However, if you apply the Blood Flame Blade to a claw and then two-hand them, both of your claws will be imbued with the Blood Flame buff. Oh my god. I cannot stress enough how huge this is. Fists and claws may lack range, but they more than make up for it with their incredible power. These weapons received significant buffs in patch 1.08, enhancing their movesets by increasing their speed, and have remained relatively unchanged since then, with only minor nerfs in patch 1.09. Their standout feature is the ability to apply any buff to both fists or claws, making it incredibly easy to inflict status effects or big damage buffs. While both normal fists and claws excel at this task, claws have the advantage due to a special true combo, the running R2 into standing R2 combo. However, there is one exceptional claw that takes this to a whole new level, the aforementioned raptor talons. Not only does it share the same true combo as other claws, but it also boasts the unique ability to perform a true combo from neutral, chaining together two heavy attacks. This combination is absolutely devastating, wondering why? Allow me to enlighten you, my dear chicken nugget. The key point to note is that you are performing a combo with heavy attacks with the R2 button. For those unfamiliar, R2 attacks inflict much greater damage compared to regular R1 attacks. Not only does this combo have a high damage output, but since it's a heavy attack, it will always stagger your enemy without fail. It doesn't matter if the enemy is wearing full bull goat, the R2 attack will stagger them with the first hit and the rest of the combo will follow immediately. So you have both damage and poise damage. What else do we have? 
Well, additionally, the raptor talons themselves have an innate bleed buildup, meaning each hit you land on your opponent will contribute to building up their bleed meter. Not each attack, but each hit you deal. And it's important to note that each R2 attack consists of two hits, resulting in a total of four consecutive hits that inflict a minimum of 60 points of bleed each, totaling to 240 bleed points for the entire combo. If you enhance this with the Blood Flame Blade or Blood Draw String Grease, it almost guarantees a bleed proc. Furthermore, since it's a multi-hit attack, it benefits from multi-hit talismans and tears, further increasing the damage. If Blood Flame is used, it's even possible to trigger the Blood Flame bleed during roll animations, ensuring additional damage even after the enemy rolls away. Combining the Raptor Talons with the Endure Ash of War makes trading blows with almost anything incredibly easy. Just one trade is enough to guarantee your enemy a VIP meeting with God Almighty. And the cherry on the pie? The R2 hitbox is bugged, so the attack comes out way faster than it should. Just what the hell is this blob in here supposed to be? Not only does the weapon excel in PvP, but in PvE it's also an unaliving machine. Enemies that are not resistant to slash attacks or bleed are going to have a very hard time against claws. You can literally melt bosses with ease by using Endure and simply monkey mashing your way to victory. And I can already see you salivating and making strange repulsive sounds tarnished. You want to give these a try, don't you? Yeah! Well, I regret to inform you that the Raptor Talons work best with a dexterity build. So, around 70 points in dex should suffice. But don't tell anyone you leveled that up, you freaking goober. Don't forget about your 60 Vigor, of course, to trade with Endure and your 30 points in Endurance, so you can wear the necessary armor to achieve over 90 poise, ensuring you can withstand the second hit of fast weapons and trade with your instant win button. You'll need 12 Faith and 10 Arcane to use Blood Flame Blade for maximum potential. Storm Stomp is also a viable alternative to Endure. But keep in mind that you'll only be able to land one R2 after connecting with Storm Stomp. Now that you know how to use it, it's time to learn how to fight it. Unlike fists, which slowly wear you down with running attacks or R2 jabs, claws are an all-in weapon known for their powerful true combos. However, Raptor Talons, despite being the second longest claws, their range is also quite poor, making it important to use fast, long weapons with good poking potential, such as halberds. Maintaining distance and preventing them from getting too close is crucial to avoid being one-shotted into the Shadow Realm. To counter the bleed aspect of the claws, consider equipping the Stalwart Horn Charm, the Spiral Horn Shield using Invigorating Cured Meat, and keeping stanching boluses in your quick menu to dispel that bleed meter. Lionel's armor set offers the high slash damage defense and robustness in the game, providing some protection if you do get pricked at some point. Additionally, be cautious not to overextend, as Endure can be activated at any moment, instantly putting you out of your misery. Therefore, focusing on range, speed and paying attention to Endure will greatly increase your chances of victory. Just try not to make silly mistakes. Considering all of this, can the Raptor Talons truly be regarded as the ultimate weapon in Elden Ring? No other weapon, when used individually and not in combination, possesses the same potential for one-shot kills while also being incredibly user-friendly and requiring minimal skill. They excel in invasions, duels, and PvE, surpassing all others in terms of both damage and versatility. Therefore, it is reasonable to conclude that, at present, without any PvP limitations, the Raptor Talons truly reign as the supreme weapon in the game. So, make the most of them now, before the inevitable nerfs are implemented. It's secret weapon time! Judging by the stats alone, what weapon is this? Leave your answers in the comments below, and the winners will be featured in the next video. And if you enjoyed this one, feel free to leave a like a comment and share it with friends. Consider subscribing to Only Waifu for more videos like this. Be sure to not sleep too late and as always thanks for watching.